Hi friends! Today I am sitting on my kitchen floor because I had a really great idea of something that we can all do to make music at home. We're going to make a kitchen band. So what I did earlier was I went through all my cabinets and my cupboards and I found things that made a nice musical sound and when we play them all together we can make a little kitchen band and you can do this at home with what things you have in your kitchen cupboards and cabinets. So the first thing I started with was something that we all probably have at home which is a pot. So I just got this big metal pot and we're going to hit it with a wooden spoon. My wooden spoon happens to look like a drumstick. I think that my sister got this for me. So thank you Kristen. And we're going to just tap on the top of our pot and let's see what it sounds like. Pretty nice. Let's see if it can make any other sounds. Yeah, I can make two sounds with the pot. Next I was thinking of what in my kitchen could make sort of a drum sound. Let's get the pot out of the way there and I've got this big container of oats, oatmeal. And it's not opened yet, it's still got all the oats in it. And we're just gonna hit our spoon on the top to make a drum sound. Oh, that can make kind of two different sounds too. So there's gonna be our kind of drum sound. Next, I wanted something that was a good shaking sound. So I found these, this bottle of black peppercorns. And when it shakes, it sounds like this. Kind of like a maraca. And if you don't have black peppercorns, that's fine. You can use anything else in a plastic container. So like, rice in a plastic container would make a good maraca sound or even pasta. So see what you have in your house that can make a good shaker sound. Next I wanted a sound that was kind of like a triangle. So a high ting ting, a high ting ting sound. So I chose this glass and I'm not going to use a glass that I drink out of because I don't want to break it on accident. So I have this glass that we were going to get rid of anyways and I have this chopstick and let's see what that sounds like. Yep, sounds like a nice high dink sound, doesn't it? And then the last thing I found was this thingamajig which is a potato slicer. I wanted something to make a scraping sound and since this has ridges on it, hopefully you can see, since it has ridges on it, it will make a nice scraping sound, kind of like the weirros we have at school. So let's see what this sounds like. Perfect. Sounds like a good weiro or scraper sound. So then what you can do is you can combine some of your sounds together. So let's combine our pot and our drum, or oats, and see what beat we can make, what rhythm we can make. Let's see. Pretty awesome. Let's combine two different sounds. How about... Our scraper or our shaker, and I'll set this on top of my pot or on top of my drum. How about and hit it with this? Here we go. So, hopefully, you can hear my little glass. It's kind of quiet compared to that shaker, huh? So you can do it by yourself like that and just kind of make up your own rhythm. You can play lots of different sounds at once even. Or if you have some other family members at your house or friends, you can all play together and make a band. Now I'm here by myself right now so I have to play all the parts by myself. So I still want to show you what it sounds like when you have five different sounds going at the same time. 
So, let's find out. Wow, that sounded pretty awesome, you guys, didn't it? So, I hope you guys try this at home with your friends or family or just by yourself. Look for things in your kitchen that can make some interesting noises, put them together, and show me what you got if you can. That would be awesome. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.